So you clicked on this link because you want to know why people are leaving Colorado. Stay tuned, we're breaking it down. here in Denver, Castle Rock, Colorado. If it's your first time to our channel, hit the subscribe button or the bell. As you know, we go over everything you wanna know about living, working, playing here in Denver and Castle Rock. Make sure you reach out to us if you're thinking of making the move. We love helping people make Colorado their home. 720-438-4181. So we're bringing to you reasons why people are leaving Colorado. And um, one of the major reasons why people actually come to Colorado is the lifestyle. So Colorado is just filled with areas in general where you can leave on your lunch break. You can go for uh, hikes, walks, the weather allows you to. Yeah. Um, you can go right out your doors, front doors, drop kids off, be able to like fit in a little bit work of a workout. Um, I think that that is the lifestyle, I guess, is just an active, healthier mm -hmm. lifestyle that people are seeking out when a lot of people are just moving because of lifestyle. Yeah. But I would say people are leaving also because of lifestyle. So we talked to a lot of our clients who moved to the area and they aren't prepared for the four seasons. I think yes. it's a big part of it or for the cold or for like today we're in garden of the gods park which is absolutely beautiful but you'll see it, the, their grasses are dormant the trees are dormant and so it provides yes. it is sunny today but we do have those overcast days we do have like today the high is 45 50 eventually but it's cold i have to wear my jacket this morning and it's been cold it's been a cold winter for us i would say yeah it, so you're it moving to colorado so people are like yes we want that lifestyle and then they get here and they yeah. maybe don't realize that you have to like dress in layers yeah. and bundle up and be prepared for the extreme weather whether it's heat or cold um it is extremely dry so maybe the reason why they're leaving yeah is maybe not the the lifestyle brought them here but they can't they weren't prepared for, for the weather. That January, March. Well, and I do, I mean, just from talking to one of our clients, um, it wasn't so much the weather, but the, the views, because things do go dormant because yeah. we have the four seasons. Right. So, so lifestyle. People move here for it. Probably one of the number one reasons people move here, but they also leave because of lifestyle. <laughs> not leaving Colorado but we wanted to tell you all why some people maybe were leaving the state. Lori and I are definitely staying here. Um, we had done some research we know we bring to you all quite a bit our perspective and what we're hearing from our clients but we wanted to actually do a little bit of research and see one if people actually were leaving Colorado and if so what were the top reasons and so that's what we're going to bring to you in this video is reasons why people are leaving Colorado. So first I uh, wanted to note some of the uh, the articles that we were reading. One of them was a United Vans Lines uh, research and it did show that actually over the year 2022 over three percent of Colorado's population did actually leave the state which was super interesting to me. Um, one of the points was that uh, the people, the age of the people that were leaving were um, anywhere between 47 and 62 for the biggest group of people leaving Colorado. And that would make sense why the number one reason people were leaving Colorado was because they were getting ready to retire. 
So my perspective of this would be that, you know, if they were, had been in Colorado a good part of their life, they lived a great lifestyle, they have a lot of equity in their home, and they were leaving Colorado because they are now retired and they could move to maybe warmer weather, be by family, whatever other reasons to come. But the reason noted was retirement. So according to our study and according to like some of our clients, one of the number one reasons people leave the state is due to family. So you think about it, people are coming here to Colorado for the lifestyle, for the adventure. And sometimes they don't factor in what it looks like to not have their family here. So a lot of people will move out of Colorado because they're going back home, because they're gonna go back and wanna be by grandparents or they wanna be by their parents or brothers and sisters. And so what that looks like is, you know, people are leaving the state due to family situations, which is kind of interesting. When I moved out here, I actually had all my family move here to follow me here. We have a, we experience that a lot with our clients. So we'll have people move here, and then all of a sudden they'll reach out and be like, hey, my dad's coming out. Hey, my sister's coming out. Hey, I gave your number to our friends. And so we do get a lot of referrals that way. So either people are leaving to go back home because they want to be close to that family during that time, or they will come and actually move out here with them to experience that Colorado. So today, Kaylee and I decided we'd had to come to Garden of the Gods to do our Why People Are Leaving Colorado. And we want to show you our little friends here. So our friends can live here forever. <laughs> They're making room for all the wildlife. Here they come. Hey guys. Another reason why people may be leaving is if you are not a friend of the rattlesnake. leaving Colorado. This um, next topic I'm going to tread very lightly on because there are definitely uh, different perspectives. Kind of one of those perspective videos as far as like even taxes go. It kind of depends on where you're coming from. So Colorado in general, if you look at the politics, um, we are a democratic state. But what I will have to say is there are definitely pockets throughout Colorado a lot of the majority of the smaller areas, the outlying towns, actually pull very conservative. When you get into Denver, Boulder counties, um, any of you know di different areas that are more inner city, you definitely uh, uh, swing more uh, democratic. But as far as politics go, I guess you know there's kind of something for everybody here in Colorado it just depends on what lifestyle you're looking for if you want to live in a city but have a conservative feel that's going to be a little bit hard typical rule of thumb is the more outlying areas or the smaller the um, area or town it's a little bit more conservative <laughs> The reasons why people are leaving, one thing that, um, you know, as we are going through the video, we did our research, um, people are leaving Colorado because they're in a really good spot financially because maybe they've purchased a home and they've let it gain equity over the last few years or maybe even 10 plus years. And so they really have a nest egg built into that asset that they purchased a while ago and they can take their cash and maybe go somewhere else and come close to paying cash for a home or you know split it up and get two homes maybe buy themselves a job or a rental something where their money is working for them and so a lot of times because Colorado we have um, a great market for real estate and there's constantly people moving in and out of Colorado we have a very stable real estate market and one that um, over the last couple years has just exponentially grown. And so it's really hard for people to pass up the equity that they have in their home. Yeah, I would say like, because it's such a great place to live, 
um, considering all factors is people will gain some good um, equities. Some Every time they go to sell, people will have a good chunk of cash typically at close to you know maybe go buy something else. If you're gonna buy here in Colorado, you're gonna be looking at the same price point. Homes are more expensive here. Um, and the other thing I was gonna bring up a little bit windy is people, there's not a lot of land here in Colorado. Land is expensive. Yeah. There is true. if you go out east, uh -huh. you know, towards like, you know, past Well, and to be honest, Peyton sometimes now. you lose a little bit of that Colorado feel. Yeah, you feel but... like you're in Kansas. <laughs> the more you go east but it is if you want you know people move here they're like well, we want a couple acres that's, that's gonna, more like texas <laughs> tennessee yeah. that's gonna run you a good chunk of money especially if you want those mountain views and to be living that colorado lifestyle land is harder to come by than maybe other states that you would have you know that availability and more exportable I would say another reason that I'm just like thinking through what we're hearing from clients is taxes <laughs> um, I guess in when it comes to taxes to me it's all perspective so we have people coming from Texas and they're like oh these your property taxes here are nothing and then you also have people coming here from maybe Oklahoma and they're like, the taxes are crazy. How can we afford this? So it's really all about perspective. Um, I would say for a single family home, our taxes 2023, anywhere, you know, anywhere from maybe like $1,500 all the way up to like $9,000, depending on what community you're living in. Um, really that's the biggest factor is where are you looking at? Are you looking in planned unit communities? Um, you know, and we can look up previous year's tax records to be able to show you different areas and how that affects maybe your monthly mortgage or if you're moving here with cash and the only thing you have to uh, differentiate between is the property taxes then we can explain different areas and how to calculate those taxes even when a new build right and I will say I know we're talking about reasons why people are leaving but you know I, the people the reason people are coming here like we always talked about is the lifestyle so this park is here in Colorado Springs, Garden of the Gods. We're gonna show you what that looks like. Kaylee and I drove 10 minutes from our home to experience this and get out and hike. There's Red Rocks up in Denver. You can do the exact same thing. Uh, anything within 30 minutes, you can experience the outdoors, the mountains, and beautiful um, scenery. We got here, there was like deer everywhere. So it's just kind of a, you can come here with your kids and for the afternoon, for an hour, do a picnic. So At the a lot end of, the of day, great opportunities. Colorado's really hard to beat. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to be prepared for like the four seasons and what you're getting yourself into. Can you afford it as far as price point goes? Right. Beyond that, fantastic. So if you're thinking of moving here, We'd absolutely love to help you. We do it all the time. You guys become our friends and family. We have your best interests at heart, we promise you. So reach out, give us a call or text anytime.